Hey everyone, this is the Good Captain, and welcome to another video in my LP on Campaign Series West Front. This is the Link Campaign game, titled Hoven Stauffen's Armored Fist, Mission Number Four, Part Three. All right, we're into the we're uh, top of the fifth turn here, <clears throat> and I closed the last video by saying that this, this artillery is just far and away the, the worst enemy here. I'm more worried about the artillery than this this coming down on me right now. This armor and infantry assault. <clears throat> I feel like I can handle this. It's that it's just that gobs and gobs of artillery barrages that really are freaking me out right now. And uh, if you can, you can see this area of the battlefield here, this is a very densely packed area. And if the AI is flinging already all over the place, this is a recipe for a complete disaster uh, of of sorts. So I've considered <clears throat> making a bid to go get the Artie. But I've I have had to I feel like I have to dismiss that we just I don't feel like we have assets to spare or the time to do it. This map is huge. This is um, we're in the bottom right corner, and I don't know where the artillery is, and I'm not sure what would be protecting the artillery if anything or if nothing. Uh, we, we really don't have <clears throat> assets, I think, to go do that. If I had, like, a company of Mark IVs or, uh, you know, a handful of Tigers, I might give it a go, but, not, you know, heart, probably not even then. It's just too far away. We don't have the time. Uh, we got our hands full with this. But what we will do is just ratchet up the anti-artillery measures we're gonna I'll, I'll spread everything out as best I can uh, I'm really really sad about this failure to dig in basically everywhere turn for turn for turn for turn it's just been terrible we, uh, one improved position is abysmal performance on the part of these troops so we'll continue digging in in certain areas but not at the rate you know I'm gonna be spreading troops out now out of fear of being plastered by errant artillery uh, and a lot of this I've decided to do just off screen so forgive me if these videos are shorter uh, this is the last video really burned me out I did a lot of stuff after hitting the pause button and you know, all these moves are are just very carefully thought out before I do them, so you know, it's but it's boring to watch that part of it, I think. So <clears throat> Alright, but at the top of this <clears throat> video, my plan is basically unchanged. We want to draw in we want to draw the British in. I really want to get them into a, a good rocket range and just just rip them apart with rockets as they approach their infantry, at least, which have seemed to, at least for the moment, out outpaced their armor. Their armor is lagging in the rear. They're not mixed up, and they're sort of plodding along here. So yeah. Uh, one of our offensive priorities is to maintain visual contact on the roads that the British are using to move to their next objective, uh, the outskirts of St. Andre. <coughs> That's one arm with which we will fight. The other arm with which we will fight is with, I don't know what else to call it, but you know, carefully exposing our tanks in certain areas and cracking off shots at worthwhile targets and uh, we'll be taking some moderate risks in that regards 
the juiciest targets that we need to, I think, take a, a chance at. Uh, and I hesitate because although we, I think we soaked off some air raids and the game was nice enough to, uh, enough to notify us that the AI lost some air raids, uh, you know, we're going to be exposing our tanks and, and we might get thumped, but we will uh, maneuver our anti-aircraft assets to the best of our ability to mitigate that. At any rate, my first, <clears throat> the first shot I want to take is with these this pair of Panthers here. We are going to maneuver upwards to this hedge in the stone wall and hopefully eliminate one of these four uh, APC or uh, Bren carriers. Oops. But before I do that, I think, yeah, I think this one is the one we wanted to fire first. We want to shoot and scoot. Yeah, yeah I think this makes more sense. One, two, and then we can pull back. Yes, it's, this is really good. Okay, so yeah, let's, this is a maximum range shot. <coughs> We could crack off a shot at these armor units, and if we killed anything, we'd at least know what we're fighting, but no, I, I want, uh, I want you. Excellent, and now we will maneuver back. Yeah, get out of the line of fire. Ooh, I like this hex. Yeah, so we'll kind of sidestep to the northwest. <clears throat> okay, next up. So we can actually do improve our position. Ooh. That's right, there's an AT gun in there. We can't see it anymore, but what kind of guns are they? I should probably figure that out. The six pounder variety. And Okay, yeah, we're at range 8. I think we're good. Okay. Let's chance a shot. Yeah. Pull back. <clears throat> and do the same with you. try to finish him off or start on a fresh target. Let's start on a fresh target. Very nice. Pull back. Okay, now this is the this is the uh, bold <laughs> quite bold maneuver. But we're going to do it. Really? I only got one? Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five. You lucky dog. <laughs> okay. And then we will... Let me see where we can drop back to that makes good sense. Paved 6, open 17, open 11, 
No, we can't shoot twice, so... Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll move two spaces back. So, yeah. Eh. I wanted a better result. <laughs> I wanted all four of those loaded Bren carriers burned up with their with all their contents <laughs> anyway we re re we've recovered the minor victory after the loss of Maltote I have this odd feeling that points aren't going to be a problem I think it's going to be survive a you know make it personal SP loss management it's a my gut feeling I have at this moment Okay, uh, let's see, is there any other shots worth taking? The yeah, Panzer IVs don't have quite have the range there. Although we could move two up. No, but then we'd be... Okay. Can we shoot and scoot? One, three, uphill for four. Four opens is 52. Up elevation brings us up to 65. And to fire costs 50. So, no, that won't work. Okay, a little pause. Oops, wrong button. Uh, okay, uh, back fairly quickly here. Uh, I found a shot that I don't think there's any point in not taking. And that's to move up here. Seven, six, five. Let's go for these AT guns. Good. One less. And then, yeah, we're in a good position to shoot and scoot next turn. Yeah, same with you. Goodbye. Okay, so that's it for the shooting as far as I can see. Uh, so I'm going to pause now and do a lot of the uh, more logistics boring type of movements. But I'm going to highlight two points I think are worth mentioning here. And that's first to state that I think I see an opportunity to use at least some of my mortar half tracks. <coughs> uh, I, I don't know. There, there's this sort of plateau over here, and there's a orchard road hex, and we could sort of roll forward, shoot at the infantries as they move up, and then roll backwards, basic to to relative safety. The problem is to get out of this area. We sort of have to drive through places where the enemy stand a good chance to see us uh, to, to fully disengage so I don't know if I'll do a full commitment with all mortar half tracks maybe well one at least yes and maybe two I'm seriously another point here is I'm seriously considering moving or, or exiting these uh, transport half tracks yes I used one as a spotter in the last video uh, to ill effect uh, the stumps will take over that responsibility moving forward. Um, and then otherwise, my infantries are going to be kind of fanning out. Uh, 
you know, I don't want to overstack hexes, not even overstack, I don't want to have more than one unit per hex, so, uh, you know, I'm just going to start spreading people out, and that's what I'm going to do without anyone watching, so let's take a pause, and I'm going to go to work. Okay, and voila, uh, here we are, this is kind of what I have, or what I had in mind. So, I've kind of jockeyed my water half tracks into position to move into that spot I was talking about earlier on the next turn. All these units out here are fanned out. Again, just a measure against artillery. The, the negative to doing this is when you spread out, you, you know, the, I'm increasing the likelihood that somebody will get hit. But I prefer this over stacking and then just just getting mauled by uh, artillery when one barrage lands on target. So uh, we displaced a lot of the transports. Uh, I even moved one of the headquarters units over. This is the one for the Panthers. As you can see, it's a little bit closer. Uh, but. I really don't dare move much closer than this, uh, even though it's out of range of one of them. I moved a mortar half track all the way out here on the far west flank, and that's just to sort of snap off of a couple of shots or a shot, and then run off if if we can get away with it. <coughs> I don't know. The Ouija board of battle is pushing me towards this sort of hit and run type of strategy. Uh, I do need to move this AA gun because he is under observation and it looks like the safest way to exfiltrate is back this way. I don't think there's any chance for air raids to do damage to me. Um, one thing we need to... this is my spotter for the next turn. I think I need to... I've learned to just sort of alternate spotters. So I don't really have spotters coming out of this this turn, this area this turn, because they were all seen last turn. So now I'm going to expose another area of the battlefield. That's the Stugs, essentially. Uh, we don't really have. I noticed we don't have Diddly for anything else. Maybe we should move the. Uh, I just I'm so I'm so worried about air raids messing up my armor. I just I don't want to. Anyway, I'm closing up this turn now. It's just basically call down artillery. Uh, we will not uncork our rockets just yet. We'll stick with just the offboard and whatever else is available. I just need to make sure I know what hexes are under observation. So you. Uh, well, certainly we must move somebody into position to observe the objective hex. This, this would be ridiculous not to. Is it going to be you, Mr. Anti-Aircraft? to do this to you buddy let me check how much points you're worth okay it's about as low as it gets hate to do this to you buddy okay now we have now we have reliable spotting in fact the stug is frankly not necessary with you here Although, a second set of eyes never hurts in case the air raids actually hit the anti-aircraft gun and eliminate or make them retreat, so we'll leave everyone where they are. Okay, yeah, let's drop. You're not disrupted. What are the likely, what's the likelihood you'll move to this hex? 
Well, certainly we want to hit this one, this one, and this one. And then I think we just want to coat that area. Because you'll move here. These are sixers. Wow, that's a one, two. So will they move two or three? Well, we can't even see that hex. So. But this one we can, so let's drop a barrage there for good measure. Yeah, let's just, I prefer a nice scatter fire, harassing fire. Uh, but I'll put a second barrage on the objective hex itself because there's some disrupted guys there. They might freeze up. Uh, none of the rockets are in range. Oh, no, one of them is, but that's the lead unit. Do we want to spend it? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just fire one rocket out. And the 120s, okay. Mm. I want to put them on some new hexes. So let's put you one mission right here. And eh, let's hit the objective hex again. All right. Okay, let's cycle through very quickly. Oh, I didn't move you. You will come back. Oh my god, why, what are you doing out here? Whoops. That was sloppy. My bad. Okay. Okay. Oh, the anti-aircraft gun? Yeah, let's just move you out. Yeah. I've been paying very close attention to my opportunity fire. Okay, you're all as dispersed as uh, I care for you all to be. Eh, let's move you forward one space. Any aircraft guns. Let's move you guys up here. So there's a taste of what you missed. Just moving pieces all around. Okay, here we go. Oh, killed another airstrike. Excellent. hate this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what that's what I exactly what I was afraid of. And it hit the it hit That was like the most vulnerable hex 
Oh, oh, wait, that was just this. That was just a single point of troops and six trucks. Still, that was a. God. That was an open ground hex with just a little bit of hedge. Oh, man. God. Yeah, they're coming charging in. Boy, they're already on us. God. Oh, is that the rocket hex? I hope that's the rocket hex. I forgot. Wow, they really did not... Still can't get over that artillery barrage. Oh my god. Dang, come on. <laughs> there, someone got in the... <laughs> Jeez, whoa! Oh. No new dug in units. Oh man. And retreats. Ugh. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Okay, we got one. Yes! Oh! oh, 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 oh yes! Oh, my God. You gotta love rockets, man. Oh, God. We cut them up. We cut them up up <sighs> wow we're still just shy of 150 points from the major but yeah okay wow we, <laughs> we cut them apart I don't know this looks like a link campaign game or at least this scenario is clearly designed with a, to be a challenge for just even the hard, even the most experienced players because you know I think <laughs> it feels like they're compensating for the fact that the AI is the way it is by just upping the uh, the victory points uh, you know making the victory points as high as they are so we're cutting down all these guys but it's you know there's still a powerful force bearing down on us and uh, I can see how this is going to be competitive despite the uh, damage that we're doing to them. Okay, uh, uh, most obvious things first. Let's, uh, let's kill some, some loaded... Uh, yeah. Yeah, this was ridiculous. I moved forward like that. That's frustrating. He retreated forward. Okay, let's... Uh, Okay, when we shoot one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So we'll go here and shoot and fall back. And we should be good because this guy. 
I don't, yeah, they couldn't have seen us to call an air raid, so I think we're good. But next turn is a problem. We're going to have to evacuate this whole ridge or choose to stand and fight here. But okay, next. Alright, this is where I'm a little leery. We move forward, we're going to take fire. For sure, for sure. But I don't see any any way to avoid it. Yeah. No? Okay. No? Okay, I'll leave you where you are for the time being. Yeah, let's move the commander up. No? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Just creeping that, creeping it closer. But again, I don't think that's going to be the issue. I think survivability. We're, we need to kill these guys not to get the points, but to uh, ensure they have less to inflict damage on us with. Okay, this is a uh, pretty straightforward. We are going to clock. Should we go for the carrier or the... These are some strong infantry units up front. But I'd rather go for the carrier. And yeah, we're, we're definitely spotted, so we need to f fall back out of sight. Boy, it really annoys me that that guy retreated forward like that. We go here. Actually, it's better to do those movements at the end, but okay, no big deal. Hmm, I just realized these SIGs don't have a headquarters, so it's going to be hard to get them reloaded. Okay, are there any other shots to take? Oh yeah, the mortar half-tracks. We might have purpose for you now. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's move forward and nuke them. Hello! Nothing. Okay. Fire cost 40 to move is 12, so we cannot move two spaces and shoot. Or uh, shoot twice, so we can move two spaces, shoot once, and move around a little bit after that. So let's do that. First, yes. Okay, come on. Arrgh. Paved. Paved is only five. We shoot. Oh, we're off by a single point. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm worried about artillery being called on this hex, so. You will dig in. You are digging in and failing. You're digging in and failing. You're digging in and failing. Damn. Damn, damn. I don't know what we're going to do when these guys hit the towns. I'll have to think about that. We'll finish this turn. Maybe do the top of the next turn. But, yeah, I'm already... I'm already getting worn. <laughs> this, isn't, this is a real head-scratcher. All right. Um, uh, 
arguably, arguably, we could maintain our position here. It's doubtful they called in any additional airstrikes. Doubtful that there's artillery. Oh, we could. Also, we could not. Uh, I don't know. Let, let's see what we got here. A 10 attack. Let's do a hit and run one. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, let's move forward two spaces. Hit this guy. Okay. And come back. Let's move Maybe back around the side of this hill. Maybe that's the best move, yeah. Again, I just don't... Those air raids... I might be too afraid of them and overreacting, but... Okay, time to bail the stump. And you as well. up and I think their armor is close enough and in range enough that we could set our opportunity fire to hard targets only and just do a do a gun duel for free there's more or less free this turn it concerns me that we haven't gotten shot at yet though Maybe we should delay one turn. Hmm. Okay, uh, fire cost is 33 and we can move Two spaces open ground 13 and 13 is 26 so yeah we can shoot twice and then move to a relatively safe spot and we'll hit this guy ah we just helped him out come on now uh, he can see us can't he no okay thank god back you go Well, this game of Cowboys and Indians is going to have to stop. This will probably be the last real turn I can do this. I think their lead elements will be making contact with our our true defensive line in a moment, or next turn. But, uh, little pause. Okay, uh, kind of did what I did last turn. Uh, just dispersed everybody uh, with respect to Staying out of the line of fire from artillery, spreading out from errant artillery, and the anti-air raid operations with a couple of exceptions of course for observation purposes mostly only. There's some stumps, very important stumps, right up here to, to watch this valley area. Um, and we've got the panthers here. Uh, to, to see what's going on back in this rear area. And then I moved to this Mark IV, uh, Yog Panzer IV forward. Uh, 
It's, it's not very good at sniping off infantry. It's a tank killer. It's a, ta a tank destroyer. But this guy's disrupted. I really, you know, don't want him coming forward. I don't think we're going to see any armor units from this position. So I'm going to crack off a shot and then pull up into this town. And from there we might be able to... Oh no, if we go there then we'll be shot at in the rear as we move up. So... Hmm. Okay, well then we'll just shoot and stay put. Okay. <clears throat> I don't like the idea. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I don't want to do that. I don't want these units moving adjacent and then cracking off a shot with their anti tank value. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't want to risk it. Let's move the anti aircraft gun just just in case. And then we'll move you. Shoot. Do I really want to stack all of my armor here? No, we'll do this. Both of these. Shoot at hard targets only. Yeah. Okay. Finally, I think we'll bring up a little more anti-aircraft protection. Yeah, that's probably good enough. I'll move these trucks. And I think that's as that's as best as we can be. I've as carefully as I can made sure that we're all out of line of sight. So if artillery falls, it falls, but did the best we could. Let's disperse a little more. Yeah, I don't know. I kept... I kept some of these. I don't know. I don't know why. I guess I like a little mobility in the late game. Yeah, I go snag some points or s if you need somebody surrounded. So anyway. Alright, let's call down the artillery. So in terms of the land units that are the biggest threat. It's definitely these guys. I think they're going to move two spaces forward. So I want to drop one here, but they could move three spaces forward, so... Oh, except that's an up elevation. Eh. It could still happen, but I'll... Yeah, what other artillery do we have? 
Okay, not too bad. I'll come back to that decision. Um, yeah, we'll definitely drop some on the victory location. And in front of it. And we'll... Disrupted. Yeah, the other one's disrupted, so that's all gummed up. Let's drop one here and here. Oh. Here. And yeah, we'll drop one where the wreck is. And then we have to make a decision about our rockets. I think we should hit the disrupted unit. Oh yeah, never mind, they're out of range. <laughs> so, where do we run? Well, I think hitting these guys would be superb. So let's. Yeah, let's put one plot here, and I think they could just come straight forward, too. What if they came right up to the objective? Let's assume that's what they're going to do. Put one... Hmm? Ah, oh, minimum range. Ah, crap. Hmm, I have a really strong suspicion they're going to move there. Yeah, let's just nuke this hex then. Okay. Ugh, this is the most dreadful moment. Let's see who gets nuked, if, if anyone. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, just make... I don't like that. Yeah, let's just get you out of the line of sight. And... Cross our fingers. Founded the enemy. Hmm. AT gun. What? Northeast. Ah, stupid. I should have shut those off. tank down here with some action points. Why aren't we shooting? Shoot.
Oh my god. Oh, you jackass. <laughs> Wow, okay, all right, I take it back. Ooh, they disrupted me. And we are undisrupted. Oh, I don't want to undisrupt. I, not, still nobody is digging in. Man, it must be hard packed earth, jeez. Three already unavailable, well, that's not good either. Okay, got one. Oops, I, I don't know what I did. I accidentally hit the enter key. Very good. Okay. Okay, we've got a few minutes left before an hour's up. Kind of want to. I kind of want to take some shots. This is what we're here for. And now it's getting to the point where we probably don't want to take any shots on trucks and other silly things. What's our victory? 468. It seems to be going so much slower than I need it to be. Uh. Boy, these, these lead units are powerful and in really good shape. And they're, they are clearly, <laughs> they're not coming for, they're, they're going for the exit, it looks like. They're just going for the exit. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Yes, let's take our best panther. Oh, it's blocked. Okay, well, we're... Still, yeah, we'll take our best panther and hit this and just find it. Let's find out what the heck. Oh, there's an improved position up here. Somebody dug in successfully? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well, shoot, we gotta take this. Look at this, it's a loaded carrier. Yeah, I, I don't want that guy. Alright, now, uh, well, shoot. Okay, if we roll back one space. No. Air attack gonna get us. You know what? It's time to put up or shut up, so let's crack off another shot. Damn it! Ugh. We'll fall back one space, but before we do, let's try to burn one. Tough, very tough. Still disrupted. Okay, okay. Yeah, what? So that cost 12. Yeah, so. Yeah, no, sh no need to shoot twice. One, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Shoot. Come on back. Let's take a single shot. Oops. Shoot. Damn it. C. 
six. <laughs> terrible. Just terrible. We need mortar half tracks on these guys for sure. Yeah, let's move you here and here. Shoot. Oh, it's unavailable. Ah. Uh. been a lackluster performance by all involved <laughs> and uh, I, I'm gonna have to think about how to deal with these uh, units that are quickly coming into contact with our defenses or you know our air quotes defenses even though they everyone was apparently sitting around smoking cigarettes rather than digging uh, I think we're going to have to let them come into the, I think we'll do a uh, inset defense, right? So we'll just let them come into the towns and shoot them. I, I just don't want to fight, with, especially without improved positions. I, I'm leaning towards just, uh, you know, sh fighting from these hexes. Remember, these are the best things on defense, really. They come in point blank, blast them, kick them. Assault them, whatever. Once they're disrupted, push them back out. At least for a turn or two, you can buy doing it like that. So we might do something like that. Or even, you know, dig in on the exit hex. But you know what? I, I'm just going to call it here. I'm not certain what else I want to do. Uh, boy, I really wish we'd burned at least one of these Churchills to find out what we're up against, but soon after this turn we're halfway done and wow we're still 70 points shy of a major and I'm running out of uh, tricks in my bag of tricks at any rate thanks for watching this all the best from the good captain and bye bye